Hello YouTube, this is Shetland, and today I'm here to do a review of a pen. I had a custom pen uh, that I had commissioned for me by Renee Meeks of Scriptorium Pens. Now when you order a pen from Scriptorium, you get an envelope like this uh, with her business card, the bookmark with the Scriptorium Pens logo, um, a piece of paper with uh, the Scriptorium Pens logo embossed and a polishing cloth, which I believe is uh, just for the metal hardware on your pens. Now, uh, the pen itself comes in a cotton flannel uh, pouch. Okay, and here's the actual pen. Now, this, I had her use uh, Conway Stewart. Uh, pen blank. Now, uh, as many of you may know, uh, they went out of business and um, they actually sold off um, the blocks of resin they had left over. And um, she managed to acquire some of them and I had her make uh, a pen um, out of a few of those blanks. Uh, now, uh, with a custom pen, you can of course um, specify the design elements that you want um, to go into the pen. Um, I'm a huge fan of Conway Stewart, and um, I borrowed design elements from uh, the Conway Stewart Wellington, as well as the Churchill. So if you like the look of this pen, check out those pens as well. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, I think the clip is pretty unique. Um, it almost looks like a, a doorknob. Um, <laughs> she calls this a heritage clip, and you have um, a variety of uh, clips to choose from. have a, a brass band, cat band here as well as um, uh, two rings um, towards the end of the pen as well. Um, I have grooves at the end of the cap. Um, as you can see here, um, this is a design element which I got from uh, the Churchill. Uh, the top, the finial here is, um, is a, a dome shape. On the other end, um, I, had her, I had her turn this to a point, as you can see. Um, and what makes this pen especially unique, I feel, is, um, I'm not sure if it, um, shows up on the camera very well, but, um, you have a bulge here in the barrel, as well as in the cap. Um, and if you look at, uh, both the Churchill and the Wellington, um, you'll see those bulges. And I, it, it just, when I saw it initially, I just, I'd never seen anything like it. And, um, I'm not sure if it's, um, simply aesthetic or if it was designed to um, be more ergonomic in the hand. Um, but it was a design uh, feature which I liked and so I had her incorporate it into uh, the des design of my custom pen. Now, um, open up the pen. Um, she uses uh, a, a number six Yobo nib with the Scriptorium uh, pen's logo engraved in it. Um, this is a medium nib. Now, before we get into the writing sample, um, she makes uh, the rings. These rings are made out of brass, and you can uh, you can specify the metal as well. She has a few different types. Um, I had her use brass, and so you can s start to see a p uh, patina developing already. I've had this pen for less than a year. Um, I ordered the pen, and it uh, arrived at my uh, apartment uh, um, about ten months later. So. I'm not sure what the current waiting time is, but you do end up waiting a while. And um, but given the quality of the pen, I'm uh, glad I decided to. You know, it was definitely worth the wait. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, let's do a quick writing sample. Very smooth nib. In fact, I think this may be the smoothest uh, steel nib that I own. 
Uh, Renee tunes these herself, I believe, and um, she does a wonderful job. Overall, a very nice pen. Um, she does a very good job, um, um, of course, with the actual pen itself, but also uh, tuning uh, the nib. Um, there is also the option of upgrading to a gold nib, but honestly, uh, her steel nibs are phenomenal. Um, as for negative aspects, aspects which I didn't uh, care for too much, there aren't many. Um, I would just like to point out that um, the cap band here is not perfect. Um, she does, um, um, she grinds these down from uh, solid uh, blocks of, well in my case, brass. And so, you know, a lot of, for, for most companies, they typically, I believe, um, they typically uh, just uh, make these by machine. And so it is a good indication of, um, the fact that, you know, this, this was made by hand. I feel this is something uh, that she probably could have gotten right. At the same time, um, it is a handmade uh, pen, and so uh, you have to, I think, you have to be aware uh, going into it that um, these types of inconsistencies are really inherent in hand, in hand work, so. As for the other two rings, um, they're straight. Um, and the only other thing I would like to point out is that the grooves, um, the distance between the grooves are slightly different, you can tell here. And um, I wanted something a little bit closer to the original uh, Conway and Stewart uh, Churchill, which has uh, equidistant uh, grooves, which aren't as deep and they're shaped slightly differently. One other thing I would like to point out, um, the way the threading is done here, um, Sometimes, depending on where you put it in, sometimes it doesn't close properly, and so um, I have to sort of turn it backwards a little bit before doing this, um, just to make sure that it closes. I mean, it's typically not a problem, I just thought I would um, point it out. Um, but yes, other than that, a beautiful material, uh, beautiful construction, and um, a very uh, finely tuned Yovo nib. So um, I would encourage you to reach out to Scriptorium Pens um, if you like this pen and would like to make something similar. She's very open to uh, just design customizations and um, she's just overall a very nice person to work with uh, via email. Um, yes, so I hope you enjoyed my review of my custom pen by Scriptorium Pens and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.